Year 2018 is a general election year in Sweden. In this election, religion is part of the debate more than ever before. Topics like immigration, integration, religious extremism, azan, handshake and hijab have been at the center of all political parties' agenda. In these circumstances, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community Stockholm, Sweden, organized a debate on the 28th of August 2018 at Abfuset in central Stockholm, where prominent politicians from eight major political parties were invited. The topic of the debate was religion in election campaign. The event started with the recitation of the Holy Quran, followed by a presentation which introduced the Ahmadiyya Muslim community to the audience and its contribution in developing a peaceful society. The debate started with the moderator asking the panelists about their party's view on the topics like role of state in religious affairs, boundaries between law and ethics, freedom of expression and its limitations, and burqa ban. Each panelist was given an equal opportunity to speak and defend, making it a fair debate. The audience also got an opportunity to ask questions, which were answered by the panelists. Guests from various religious, cultural and activist organizations also actively participated. The politicians shared their views about the program and appreciated the fact that the Ahmadiyya Muslim community is actively working to build a society which is based on mutual respect, knowledge sharing and helping the others. I think it was very good and it is important to discuss the role of religion in our society, um, not least when it is very much a debate about various religious expressions in the media. I think it is important to discuss these issues. Questions about freedom of religion, about what it actually means in practice, and um, the threat that is actually present against my, uh, religious minorities. For example, against different churches, against the uh, synagogues and uh, mosques as well. Uh, very interesting and uh, at least in the beginning very much warmth and uh, interest from every party to discuss religion, uh, although I don't think that's the uh, way we will talk about it when we get out of here, but that's important, that it's an initiative that creates this space where we can talk about religion in a political perspective, but without this uh, hardness and, and chill that's out in, in the society today. It was a really good event, I think. There was a lot of different interesting discussions, but we were never really arguing with each other. We were just like putting out our opinions and really trying to well, find, find out what we all thought about it. So I think it was very informing or informative for the, for the audience. And I think it's very important that uh, our citizens, even if they are Muslims, uh, they have the right to know, to knowledge of what the political parties are going to promote and how they see the Islamic community in Sweden. Of course, uh, my strongest me message would be is uh, to fight uh, xenophobia, to fight uh, Islamophobia. You should engage in the, in the politics of the country where you are living because it's enough giving the microphone to someone else to talk for you instead. I think that you should get involved and take the mic and raise your voice. MTA International, Sweden Studio.